how to make some delicioso beef nacho mafia. We're going to make the best nachos ever. They should be stable at every party like just everyone loves nachos. Every single person loves nachos. Marhabas, marhabas, maako sarati wal matbakh sarati. Yom rah hadirkon shi ktir tayyib wa huwa taqriban kill bihabu ma fi hada bihlo nachos illa bado nachos. أطيب ناتشو باللحم المفروم فيكم تختاروا أي نوع لحم بدكم إياه بس اليوم رح يكون ناتشوز ما مرق عبال حدا دقوني هيدي الوصفة بس تشوفوها رح تستعملوها بأي مناسبة بحفلة جمعة عيلة جبتوا رفقاتكم لعندكم رح تكون وصفة سريعة وكتير طيبة So let's start doing it. So first we're putting our skillet to medium high heat and we're adding a little bit of olive oil and dropping our onions here. So we made it here, put it on the gas, on the heat, 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 on so I'm gonna push them aside so when the meat hits the skillet it has a chance to brown. هلا البصل صار منيح عندي زحته شوي على جنب لحتى نزل اللحمة. Added our beef now just gonna break it up a little bit. Gonna let it sit undisturbed for a minute or so just to let the meat start to caramelize a little bit. Okay من بعد ما ضفت اللحمة المفرومة بس حركت شوي بالملعقة رح اتركها بدون ما ازعجها بس لحتى شوي تاخد لون من تحت Now start mixing the onions and the beef and we're just gonna cook this until all the pink is gone which should take about 6 minutes more هلا بندمج اللحمة مع البصل اللي عندي تقريبا بعد لشي 6 دقايق لحتى يروح كل اللون الزهري اللي عندي if you don't want to use the beef, you could also use ground turkey or ground chicken or crumbled tofu if you are a veg. If you want to use the beef, you can 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 use now, after I see my beef is cooked through, I'm going to season with some salt. The part when it comes to seasoning, oh my god, it's my favorite. Then I'm gonna add my taco seasoning. If you can't find taco seasoning at your grocery store, I actually have a great recipe for taco seasoning late. I'm gonna drop it in the description box. Okay, and here I have some garlic. I'm gonna add it to it. So this really just needs a minute to get those flavors going through. So من بعد ما شفت عندي إنه اللحم الطبخي ضفت له شوية ملح مع ملعتين من التاكو سيزني بهارات التاكو اللي ما بيلاقي عنده بهارات التاكو أو منا متوفرة حد منه أنا بالdescription box شو هن بهارات التاكو هلا ما بدأ إلا تقريبا دي على نطفي تحت منه. Guys, now I'm gonna keep this beef on the lowest heat. In the meantime, I'm gonna do my nacho cheese. So I'm gonna put one cup in a pan soup, put it in a saucepan. So after putting one cup of nacho cheese, I'm gonna mix it with two tablespoons of milk and stir all together, whisk it all together until it reaches to a boil. So I'm gonna put the beef on the side on the side of the fire. بهيدا الوقت بعمل جبنة الناتشو بضيف عليها ملعتين من الحليب وبخلطهم مع بعض لحتى يصيروا يغلوا عندي ما بخبركم شو عم نشم روايح Oh my goodness You cannot imagine the smell guys Nachos guys, nachos You know, nachos Who doesn't love nachos and cheese Okay guys, now that our beef and cheese are ready I'm gonna take this off the heat And we can build our mountain here رح طف النار عليهم من بعد ما شفناهم خلصوا ورح بلش عمر لكم الجبل تبع الناتشوز So here I'm gonna line our serving plate with a waxing baking sheet This is really a very important step if you don't want to be scrapping burnt pieces of cheese and it makes for super easy cleaning So أنا هون بجيب ورقة الواكس وبحطها على طبق التقديم بس كرمال ما يعلق فيها الجبنة would see a sad journey. Okay, guys. First, we're gonna start with our tortilla chips. 
spread it all over your serving dish. Try to separate because when you want to grab the nacho, you really want to fill filling on the top because you don't want to end up disappointed when you have a naked nacho. So please spread it all over. So I will start with our delicioso meat and pass throughout about covering all your chips. Okay, fellows, now after I spread the beef, I'm gonna add my black beans here. Just like that. And I'm gonna spread my nacho cheese. nacho all over. Can you see? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna spread half of the shredded cheese here on the top. Half a cup of the cheese that I have here. I'll use the cheese later. Then I'm gonna spread the red cabbage all over, melted in the red. Then the lettuce on the top of it. Then I have here the pepper. Here you go. Some onion. Oh my goodness! Can you see? Some tomatoes here. Voila! Oh, chef, can you see what's going on here? Oh my goodness! Then I'm gonna add here some black chopped olives, zaitun and mabshur. Then I'm gonna add some corn. This is the mountain. We're building the mountain here. Then I'm gonna sprinkle with some scallions. Then I'm gonna sprinkle above of it with some cilantro. Cilantro will give it that tasty flavor. I'm telling you guys. Again, I'm gonna drizzle it with some shredded cheese on the top, just like that. I'm gonna sprinkle it with the avocado sauce. Oh my goodness! Can you see, guys? Voila! I'm gonna drizzle again with some sour cream. You remember the avocado sauce that I did in the previous video? If you didn't watch it, please watch it and share it, guys. You will love it. Some chipotle mayo, just like that. I'm also gonna top it again with some cilantro. It makes them look even prettier. من رش شوية كزبرة فوقا بيعطيها شكل ولا أروع منها. And voila! Oh my goodness! Can you see? Can you see what I'm saying? As usual. Oh my God, guys! The colors, everything, the smell is amazing. Who doesn't love nachos? Who doesn't love nachos? شفتوا شباب أنا عن شو عم بحكي. هلا صار الوقت إنه دو ما بقى فيه أنطر. نأخذ التورتية من تحت لأنه معبي كلها من فوق. This is the time to taste, guys. You take from the bottom. 